You're ripping off the window frame. This is ridiculous. He has earned the name Ansel the Destroyer because he literally destroys everything in his path. He put his head right through the fence. He's the king of locks. He has figured out how to unlock every gate, every chicken coop latch, and get inside so that he can get the chicken feed. Ansel, surprise, surprise. You know, we had to build a special pen for him with a couple of locks because he can always figure out a way out. So here is the new Ansel proof pen that we got. Door is locked. And Ansel is right here. What'd you do, buddy? How did you get out? Somebody broke in and got up to the hayloft. I wonder who that could be. Ansel, out. I walked out one day to find Ansel locked inside the chicken coop. He had opened the lock, climbed inside the chicken coop, and then closed the door and locked himself inside. And he was stuck there for, I have no idea how long. It's annoying, but it's funny and it's endearing. Ansel came to us and he was just a scrawny, sickly, weak little baby. Someone contacted me about two baby goats who were involved in a really horrible cruelty case and asked me if I would be willing to foster. So I got Ansel and Petal when they were just a couple of days old. He was pretty grim for a couple of weeks, but he had his sister Petal with him cheering him on. She really did mother him even though they were both babies and she really did um, encourage him to play and to get up and move and he just slowly got better and eventually he just snapped out of it and was able to eat and started jumping and playing like a normal baby goat. The doctors did not think that he would live, but look at him now, he's huge. That's what started it all and they are the reason that I decided to dedicate my life to rescuing baby goats. They're definitely king and queen, and the other ones all know it. They were here first, they're both the biggest. They get to eat first, they walk up to the playground, and everyone scatters. They still share a stall every night. They're still BFFs. Both of them almost died. They were so sickly and so weak. And now to see them just huge and big and healthy and beautiful, it's just really inspirational.